32 gig RAM, and usually I usually get around 50. I was getting like 12. Yeah, I was really, I didn't know if maybe, maybe my graphics configuration changed, but I got it cranked up. We'll see. Windows has been patching a lot of stuff lately. It could be that too. Yeah, we got the Windows 11 coming out. I thought about upgrading. I haven't don't, done it yet. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> I know. Don't, don't be a guinea pig. Don't do it. You'll don't be, be a guinea pig. Let somebody else do the hard work. Yeah. Let them do the leg work. I'm actually getting really awesome frames here. You are. It looks really, really sweet. Super smooth. God, it looks look at that view. Sweet. Yeah, you got the graphics turned way up too. I got it maxed out. My, I always you run get... my box max, maxed out. Do you got it set at 4K or a different resolution? It's 4K, but I am noticing some some bars in the lighting, so it's just kind of weird. That? Maybe it's the um, V-Sync. I do have V-Sync running, yeah. But yeah, I just, oh man, this planet looks awesome. Can't wait to listen. Like, Is that a specific backpack that comes with that armor, or did you purchase yeah. that separately? No, it comes, it's designed for this armor, but you can wear it with other ones. It doesn't hold, it's a It's a big size backpack, but it's not as much as the Novak one. Just slightly less. Got it. But yeah. I don't yeah. anything but armor yet. This one is designed for this suit. You can see that the camouflage matches. The sunrise looks pretty awesome, though. The wind died down. That's good. All right. I may have to claim some ships. Let's see what we got to do to get some ships going here. Actually, you know what? This is a good opportunity to test the new ground vehicle. So oh yeah. Let's uh, I'll take it for a spin since I'm here. Gosh, it's so big. I'm surprised it'll fit on that pad. Oh, it's up at the top. That's right, it's Anvil. It's called the Spartan, right? Anvil Spartan. Yes. Where is it? Anvil Hawks. Merry Christmas. You got a lot of ships there, brother. Yeah. Uh, it's difficult to find. I would, they need a search engine so you can just type in what you want. <laughs> I have a div divide up like it does in the rental menu. Yeah. Pick it by manufacturer. Uh, oh, that's right. Were you here when my uh, caterpillar exploded, Raiden? No, you weren't. Landed my caterpillar on the pad, went to go pick up cargo, and the minute I stepped off the elevator, because I, I did, it was windy out, so I was already stepping off the elevator very carefully, because the wind will catch, yeah, you, catch you and you'll take I, off. I, took, I had just logged in. You yeah. had just got to, the, I logged in just as, and I was watching just as you put the ramp down, and then you took one step off and it yeah. blew up the smithereens. Yeah. Why, I don't know why it didn't kill me, but. Fire and flames everywhere, and you yeah. didn't die. Maybe the suit's uh, fireproof and shockproof. I don't know. All right, let's go take it for a spin. I'm gonna start small though. I mean, just would run the MSR around. I think that's gonna be like my go-to ship. I'm gonna store my in my extra suits and stuff in my MSR. Because right now, because I logged in the other day and I made new Babbage in my home, that's where all my crap is right mm -hmm. that's where I gotta get it from that's cool looking that's the transport uh, troop transport right mm -hmm. that's cool very cool <laughs> they gave different doors for this one yeah those are pretty pretty smooth they're wider too looks like You can look out through the grills. They're like windows. Interesting. I knew it was big when it saw it hangs off the end. Oh my god! <sighs> that was uh. Maybe. So is it my shoes? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> what the fuck? Everything I walk off of blows up. 
and it doesn't kill me. You can't ride on my ship today. You're recording this? <laughs> yes, I'm, reco I'm, I'm recording it now. I didn't record it when it was doing the Caterpillar, but it just did it for this thing, too. <laughs> what the fuck? I, I don't know why I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm, I'm happy that it didn't kill me, but... I'm afraid to... I, I don't know what to do. I'm afraid to call anybody for help to pick me up because I might get a crime step for, for walking they, onto their ship. Are they testing landmines? I mean, I, I don't wonder. That's crazy. All right. So I can go in, but don't get out. Uh, you know, what I need is for somebody to give me a lift. Getting on a ship, I'm fine. It's the getting off part <laughs> that just devastates the crap. Yeah, hold on. Let me uh, let me land here, and I'll come pick you up with something I can. Don't worry about blowing well, up on me. Well, you just need to drop me off in space. I think. I think getting off onto land is the problem. Hmm. Biggles. Hey, Biggles. Yeah. Hey, Biggles. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, Biggles. Well, uh, it's different. I don't, I don't know what's going on right now, but everything I, wa every ship or vehicle I walk off of, instantly detonates and explodes. Not good at all. It doesn't kill. It doesn't kill me. <laughs> hey, just, just so you know, one of the experiments that I did yesterday was I logged out in Lensman's ship, mm -hmm. and it appears that since his ship is not available, I went back to New Babbage. And I have no inventory. Everything that was on my person when I went to sleep in a ship is gone. Ooh. Yeah, I'm struggling with that myself as to where you go and what goes with you and where it stays. Mm -hmm. I mean, but I, I just fell asleep in a ship. I didn't, like, die or anything. You'd think if they had to force me to another location because of that, I'd still have my gear. You would think. Well, Volthar, whenever he logs in and out of the game, doesn't matter where he logs, he often loses everything he's wearing. So Yeah, so. I've woken up naked before. Well, I've, your underpants. I've logged out, logged back in, and had weapons changed. I've logged out, logged back in, had weapons completely stripped away from me. I've logged out, logged back in, and have... All my gear completely changed to a completely different outfit and different weapons. Okay, that's, mm. that's so. Weird. I have seen all kinds of stupid, weird inventory things where things just vanish and they're gone forever, and then they reappear one day. Well, at least there's hope that it comes back. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's all just magic. So. Yeah. Smoke and mirrors. Mm -hmm. No such thing as magic. But Warthar is getting hit the hit the worst though. Every time he, you know, I mean, it's expensive. You're running out of yeah. outfits. So I don't mind. I guess it's not as bad if it just rearranges your outfit. Yeah, I just uh, wearing a, a simple outfit, and that's it. I'm not. Uh, I'm just leaving everything back at uh, home base. Area 18 is where I could spawn in, so that's where I left everything. I'm not even going to try and bring it with me. Yeah, I'd spawn a vehicle and drive around with it, but... Well, I'm going to go ahead and do the Spartan. If I die, I die. Whatever. Mm. I think next time when I go to get off the Spartan, I'm going to leap off of it instead of walk off of it. If the game will let me spawn it. There we go. Yeah, starting to wonder there for a minute. Oh, it's starting to snow. It's starting to get windy. Ooh. Don't like the sound of that. Yep, here comes a storm. I need to get in this thing before it knocks me on my ass. Anvil 
Aerospace. All systems online. It does have a little bit of a pep, doesn't it? Oh shit, there's a cliff there. Whoa. I don't care. Go for it. Oh yeah, it's got some get up and go, doesn't it? No! Oh, trust me, you haven't done nothing. I drove that thing off the side of the mountain over at New Babbage. Yeah. Anybody got a uh, hawk? Mm-hmm. I have that everything. That turret on the top, do you need somebody to uh, be in the turret to, to use it? A hawk? Isn't that what I mean? Or the hurricane? Hurricane, Wait. I guess. The hurricane? Yeah, you need somebody in the turret. Okay. Then I won't worry about it. I was going to say, did they add a turret to the hawk? That would be fucking awesome. Thing already has six guns. Putting a turret on it too? Fuck yeah, that thing'd be a beast. Well, this one's got two, uh, six guns, but you can't use four of them. <laughs> yeah, the 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 hurricane is a it's a beast. Yeah, it, I hope they when they come out with the blades that we can light it to the, have the pilot use it. But yeah, it's not like the Super Hornet. The thing actually handles really well. That they've done a lot of work with on the suspension. It feels like it carries its weight better than the than the uh, ballista. The ballista was like the wheels mounted to the frame directly. Well, the uh, ballista always felt like the nose of the vehicle had the equivalent mass of a black hole up there, and the back end was made of feathers. So it really? always it handled really odd. Got one down. Completed my beginner's permit certification. How do you like those auroras that you go up against? They're like, they're like stealthy. Oh, I haven't uh, gone up against them. Yeah, either. they uh, they have a low cross section in this patch. Yeah, well, that things got. Gotta love that low gravity. Oof. Yeah, she actually handles really well. Another fine big job they did with her HUDs. Can't see your target information. Mm-hmm. I think I read... I think I saw a post on that. Another one down. About a thousand for that. Good. You see what I see? Looks like a ramp. That looks like a ramp. Caterpillar loading zone. Hmm. 
And it backs up a little bit faster than the ballista, but it's still slow. Mm. Nice, that's a good one right there. We coming into the range of Port Olisar that says thank you, please come again. Mm. <laughs> they know you already don't want to be there. Yeah. I've got to get some quantum fuel. Yeah, she definitely handles her weight better than the uh, ballista does. And her suspension seems to be a bit better, too. that too. It's a nice touch. See that? Yeah, it looked like you lost your skin there for a second. And bounced it so hard the skin fell off the ship. <laughs> That's what you get for not letting it dry before you do that. <laughs> Let's see if I can repair this thing. Can I do that here or do I have to be on the other pad? Yeah. Oh, you can't repair and refuel anything at these things anyway. Well, you might be able to do vehicles on the little pad. Mm. Oh, you stuck it on the light pole. What, 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 Ugh. For the love of God, man, make these little plastic things intangible so we can drive through them. I, I promise, it won't break my immersion, I won't feel bad. Make them flop over like in yeah. plastic delineators. Oh, uh, parking violation. It's like, you, you are parking where you shouldn't be. Do I have to call it in? Platinum Bay Landing Maybe. Zone. Let's see. Please proceed to assign landing bay. Oh, I'm going to turn around so I can see it. Thank you, please come again. Oh, I still can't repair it. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. Should, do I dare try and get off of the ship without... All systems offline. 
All right, Hookin. Prepare your screenshots. You can see an explosion here, probably. Hmm. Side door or back door? Which one do I want to die at? Uh, let's see. I parked there, so we'll go out this door. Or maybe not. Oh, there we go. All right, I'm gonna jump out. Yay! I'm gonna live! I don't know why I'm closing the door. Oh, the button's on the other side. They said these ladders will be climbable eventually, but they're not right now. I like the look of it. I, mean, I know it's the same chassis as the uh, Ballista, but... It looks the interior's cool. been changed. Yeah, a little bit. And like I said, these door, these side doors are a lot wider. They're they're different. They they have the same mechanism style, but they're uh, they're bigger. Yeah, the ballista still ha is still all the old. It hasn't been redone yet. Because uh, right behind the pilot's area, there's a, a locker on the on the uh, port side that you can open up. Mm-hmm. Which the ballista doesn't have. I'm very surprised they didn't make a co-pilot feature where they could have a co-pilot control the turret. Seems like kind of a design flaw, if you ask me. Mm-hmm. Oh, you got the A2. I suppose I could drive this thing on board, but do you really want me getting on and off of this thing with my Why current not? with my current problem? Science. Okay. Of course, let's see if I can blow this one up. Everybody's gonna die. Yeah. Still like the fact that it's so damn nose heavy of this landing gear ride. Come around the back and drive in from the back. Front front looks a little janky. Back's off the ground. I'll have to move. Uh, yeah, you're right. It's off the ground. I might be able to Dukes a Hazard it in there though. But I'm a better pilot than I am a driver though. Oh shit, this is the A2. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get it in through the back. Not with this type of vehicle. Oh, I'll go in yeah, I'll, go, I'll, I'll go in through the front. I'm good. Ooh. Or unless I hit a rock. these road reflectors please CIG make the fre reflectors intangible Bring it all the way to the, the back here. Like a glove. Looks good in here.
All right. For the ultimate test. Let's see if we can get out of the vehicle. All right, Hogan, I'm sorry for about whatever's going to happen here. Just walk out. Let's see what happens. <laughs> what the fuck? I may have uh, made a mess of your uh, hangar. I'm sorry. I I am the ultimate suicide bomber, though. I, I drive. I, I, I can just drive up and take out any group and just walk away. <laughs> All right, ultimate test. Oh, you want me to walk off the? <sighs> let me get out of the ship. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm get gonna... get yeah, out. Let me and, get out. Yeah, we'll spawn a ship if it if it if it does this. That way, you don't have to worry about yeah. charges. Because if it takes me too long to get back in, it'll automatically press them. Yep, yep. I am a, I am, I am a wrecking machine, man. I wreck anything I touch. Wow. Now, at first I thought it was a bug with the caterpillar, but it seems to be a bug with me? With my character? Could be the outfit I'm wearing, maybe? It might be. You're recording, right? Yeah, I'm still recording. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll upload it as soon as we're done doing this stuff. It didn't do this in the PTU. Of course, I, you know... I got on and off the Redeemer quite often, so the ramp didn't. Same do armor. It. Uh, n yeah. There was actually a couple times I was wearing this armor. Okay. You're off. Yep. Okay. Dooby dooby doo. Going to blow up ships. Dooby dooby doo. Right when I get to the bottom here. Uh, I'm on. I'm off. I'm on. I'm off. Try the back ramp. Maybe it's just your ship, so. Maybe. Alright, it's getting windy. Yeah, it's already pushing me. go nope let me try the elevator let me try the elevator and see what happens interesting uh, button. there we go and it started with the cat it started with the cat as soon as I got off the cat <laughs> And I was careful. It had nothing to do with uh, speed, me being blown back into the ship and blowing it up. You saw I got off nice and careful like. Okay, now we're getting off the elevator. This is going to be a different type of platform. So let's see if it does it here. Wait until it gets all the way to the bottom. Step off. No. Nope. That's because it's off the ground. I don't know, dude. I don't know. That is really, really bizarre. There's also some graphical goofiness going on right now. Hmm. Well, let's see. Let me spawn my Spartan. That's a cool outfit you got going on there. I stole it from the guys on the 890. That chest piece looks cool. You gonna spawn a smaller vehicle, see if I can blow it up? Yeah, I'll spawn my Spartan. And okay. See if... see if it's my vehicle related. Oh, 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 oh. oh crap. My guns aren't firing. 
is too close. Your guns? Must have a missile. Yeah, I must have a missile lock or something. Guns should fire at any range. You would think. Huh. That's gotta be a bug. <laughs> I can't. I can't expedite it because all my money's in cargo on the cat back at Everest Harbor. <laughs> <laughs> Ground vehicles just don't don't it only takes a few seconds to claim them. I got missiles a, won't fire either. I gotta claim mine anyway, so I'll come in and do that real quick. Here we go. I got the guns again. There it is. Yeah, it only takes 40, 45 seconds to claim this thing. That's not bad. All right, mine's on the pad. All right. Get ready to claim it, because <laughs> I'm going to wreck that thing. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to walk on, and I'm going to walk right back off again. So I'm in. Turn around. Did it register you in? Yep. Yeah, it says I just entered the Spartan. Hook in ship. So I'm going to walk off. Right, let's try the back door. So it's related to my ships, I think. Yeah, sounds like it. Sounds like something with the caterpillar triggered it. Oh, I can't walk off. That's wild. It won't let me walk off. It won't, will it? What the? <laughs> That's bizarre. I can't even walk off sideways. Oh, there we go. That's weird. What about the other door? Yeah, it's looking safe inside of his bunker over there. Yeah, I'm good. In and out, no problem. Huh. Let me spawn mine next to yours and see what happens. Interesting. Be right back. Times to give you dollars, I'll blow mine up. So windy out here. There we go. It didn't do it. Okay. All right, let me store mine. It, it's not it's not doing it anymore on mine. So, yeah, watch. Yeah, nothing. Hmm. 
could it be if it changed when you went in the Hercules? Well, it it must uh, change its status, but I'm wondering if it's I wonder if it's wind related. The effect the effect that the wind is doing on my character and the transition from the sh uh, vehicle to air. But I was inside your ship and it still did it, so that's not it. No. Right. Something with the gravity plane. And when you came out of the front of mine, the wind was still blowing. Yeah, but inside the ship, the wind has no effect. I mean, in, in, inside the ship is a completely different area right. with st its own statistics. What the consistence, the the thing that's consistent is gravity. Uh, it it must be me transferring from one plane to another, and the planes for a brief second desync and and mesh. But what caused it to be that way, and then what caused it to not be that way, I don't know. Interesting. But I think what's happening is it causes it to clip with whatever it's touching, and it just explodes. It, it, it has like a resonance thing. It just it touches, starts to try and break free so fast that it just causes the ship to just go ballistic and blow up. But it's not doing it now. Really, really weird. I don't know, man. Hmm. I've been playing this game a long time, and I, I still get... Just stumped and su surprised at at stuff. Yeah, me too. Store it and respawn it. Yeah, I'll try that. Because mine was out. Maybe mine being out changed the physics. Maybe. Could be the platform that it spawned on too. I wonder if it'll spawn it on the same pad. Let's see what happens. Should spawn on the closer one, I hope. Yep, okay, let me now let me go try it again. Here I am trying to kill myself. That's hilarious. Well you're not dying though. Yeah, I'm not dying. Which is another killing everything. Yeah, which is another out. oddity in and of itself. The explosion should be devastating my ass. So there's a few things at work here. It looks more like self-destruct. But it, it, a self-destruct would still kill me. Right. What I mean is, it's got like I was, like I was saying, it's got to be a, 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 a state between the planes. And what's happening is I'm getting stuck briefly in between the planes as I walk off the ramp, and I think what's it's causing the ship to destruct. Because it's going through a phase that it can't resolve, and it just obliterates. And because I'm in between planes, I think that's what's keeping me from dying. Hot rail? Possible. But it's not doing it now. Hmm. But that was, It could have started with the Caterpillar. There may be something with the Caterpillar. But anyway, what I should do is claim the Caterpillar and try it here again. I bet you I'll get bugged again. Yeah, you won't be able to spawn the cat here, though. Oh, I can't spawn the cat here. Yeah, you're right. Oh, how come I could spool complete, but I can't calibrate? Um, Do you have a... Check your Moby map. Do you have a route planned, or...? No. I'm looking for a... Captain my bounty if you have a route planned unroute if you don't have a route route planned route yeah that's easier said than done though yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> I could maybe set a route to Hurston. 
He's in that area. So it'll let me claim the caterpillar. It's going to claim it so it's here, but... Have, has anybody checked to see if they can spawn ships now in this patch? I haven't tried. Let me try. Spawn ships? Oh, wow, it's getting windy out. Look at that. You can hear it rumbling the building. Yeah, big ships, not just oh. little ships. I had an A2 out yesterday. Back in the day, you could actually spawn big ships as long as they had a big pad out there of, of appropriate size. Uh, let's see, what can I spawn? Because nothing's here except the C2 sitting out there. That's cool to look out the window and see the wind blowing, blowing by, the dust and everything. AFK a sec. Well, at least so far we're not being randomly pulled out of uh, quantum and, and asked to check our identities, etc. By the space police. <laughs> no, did you get pulled out? No, oh. not yet. It happens randomly. The, I haven't been inspected, but it dropped me out of quantum. Uh, some red targets appeared. I punched it, and then a wreck, caterpillar wreck, materialized in front of me. I ran right into it and blew up. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Man, I can hear the wind buffeting the building. I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah, I can hear it. I gotta wait on the claim timer. Yeah, me too. I wish this coffee machine worked. Well, there's trucking somewhere. No, looks like he's in a spiral. Oh, yep, he's in a spin. He's moving fast. Wow, his speed is... Look at his distance. It changes up, down, up, down, up, down. Lost in space, space, space. Right. Can we still sit in these? Yeah, we can. I need to play, like, elevator music in here. Don't give them any ideas. Really? Then we'll have it in the elevators. They should. Just as a funny thing, you know. Keystone Cop thing? They gotta add at least some humor to this game because of all the, <laughs> the just brutal bugs they got going on. Yeah, I like that outfit you got going on there. As for being just piecemeal together, it looks good. Yeah, I stole it from the guy on 890. Next time I uh, have this bug, though, I want to set the camera into, like, uh, look, at, look back mode so I can get, like, that exploding behind me scene where as I'm walking out of something. <laughs> 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 like in the movies. An action shot. Yeah, they got to get that coffee maker working. They have to get supplies in general working for these outposts. Because if you're here, you're doing cargo, you need food and water. They really got to have that available. Because I'd like to... 
Let's see if I can get this coffee maker to make me some stuff here. And I don't think I brought any food and water with me. I did not. Oh, I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Doop. 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 Right, okay, I got to take off my helmet. Hey, guys. I'll be back. I didn't make a call. Mm -hmm. Right here. Are you thirsty? I'll save some for you. No, nope, I'm good. That is I that is handy. that they made all that work, so... Everything else is broken, but... <laughs> at least I was able to make that work! Check the spawn... or the claim timers here. And go ahead and store the Spartan. Nine minutes. Caterpillar's got 11 minutes, so I'll be a couple minutes behind you. So for an outpost, somebody keeps this building pretty clean. The Platinum Bays are actually usually in pretty good shape. The rest of them are, can sometimes look like dog shit, but... The Platinum Bays, for the most part, do stay pretty, pretty tidy. Great guy over here must get paid a lot of money to come over here and clean this up. Or they pay they pay for a service to go around and clean up their stations. Oh great, feature gameplay. When I was uh, when I was an electrician, um, we had corporate uh, uh, contracts to go around and maintain different companies' uh, systems. So not to clean up and sweep up but to actually fix things so I wouldn't be surprised if they had something like that for an interstellar company like that could you imagine being an interstellar maid <laughs> going around cleaning things cruising around your aurora couldn't use a nomad all your cleaning supplies would fly off the back of it <laughs> your, your gauge on the back is reading a little low okay uh, just tap on it. Yeah, just kick it. So, warning. Yeah, that's a cool chess piece. I like that. I don't know you what it's got, called. Got it off one of the leaders. I've never seen it before. I snagged it off a guy in the uh, cargo bay. Yeah, it's probably one of the leaders. It's got a hoodie, which is kind of cool. That you can pull, a pullover hoodie. It's pretty neat. I like it. Yeah, the legs and arms I got off of a yeah. guy up there by the bridge. Yeah, Inquisitor, it's the Inquisitor Dune or Olive outfit. But the centerpiece is unique in and of itself. That's nice. You said nice. I don't know where I got the helmet. The helmet is uh, Bellfire, looks like. You know, you can store places at these, uh, uh, store stuff at these uh, outposts, right? They act, you have your yeah. own personal inventory at each one of them. Anybody tried gravlev grav bikes yet? Nope. I have not. Yeah, well, he's got a death wish. <laughs> I heard that's next patch. 
Yeah, I was surprised when they came out of the blue and said, "Yeah, we got a good grab lift fix coming." What? 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 Yeah, these guys—they changed it like what four years ago, and <laughs> they never got back to it. Oh, oh we—they no. completely wrecked it and said, "Eh, we'll come back to it later." It's like, oh. Yeah, it was working. We broke it. Fuck it. God, the clock is slow. Slow. I like Platinum Basic logo. That looks cool. Wherever you want to go. Yeah, I like that chess piece. Might have to pick one up next time in a modern 890 mission. It looks like it's got uh, a rebreather on it for when you're diving. I know, right? Of course, the technology for space would be pretty similar. It re recycles your oxygen or your air filters. Your that's, core. that's what they do now. Yeah. CO2 scrubbers. Yeah. A little tiny makeup bottle of oxy. It's called a Stitcher Core. Stitcher core, huh? Yeah, that's unique to the that's unique to the the um, character. So that's something you can't get unless you loot it off of a bad guy. I love the wind effects. That's cool. I don't like it. I don't like it when you have wind effects and don't see that dust. When you see, when you look outside, you look out, you say, "Oh shit, it's wind. It's windy. I got to be careful." But there's Plenty of times I go outside, I'll get blown on my ass, and there's no sand or wind or even sound effects. Right. But you know that you're getting blown down. Just about to set down on the pad, and now they want to scan me. <laughs> <sighs> Had that happen a lot. Yeah, I get that. I'll grab a cup of coffee here, I think. What's what uh, manufacturer is tomorrow? Let me go take a look see. See if I can find out. Uh, they don't have a day by day page like they used to. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. It's got a scroll bar on it. That's why. RSI. Oh, but it won't let you go to the next one. God dang it. Yeah, they don't have the calendar anymore. So you can see the itinerary to see what's coming. Well, I can tell you that there's one drawback to being almost the equivalent of a Legatus. Is that there's not a ton to look forward to when, when these events come out, except for the brand new ships that come out. <laughs> so like RSI today, there's nothing. I, ha I own everything they have. <laughs> yeah. So there's nothing exciting to look at. It's the only downside. Yeah, I want to see the calendar. There, there's no calendar. Oh, can I do this? Here. Can I click on that? What happens if I click on that? Nothing. No, that doesn't do anything.
I'm back. Yeah, I can't find the page that lists the itinerary for the the week on who's who's what day and what manufacturer. Give me a second. It took me a minute to find it. I was just telling Ulthar, the, the one drawback to being pretty much a Legatus is that uh, the only thing I get to look forward to are the new ships that come out. <laughs> Oh wait, schedule? Here we go. Is that it? No, it's not it. Damn. Uh, ah, here we go. It's a drop-down menu. That's why I haven't been able to find it. So, at the top it has a, a, a schedule, and it has a, like a the icon for like uh, tools or the drop down tools if you click on the drop down tools it'll show you the itinerary tomorrow is agent dynamics then it's a poa <laughs> banu banu has its own exhibit or maybe they're getting done together Yeah, those four are all together. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no, that is the itinerary. Okay, cool. Wow, it's long. Aegis, Apoa. Aegis tomorrow, I assume Apoa maybe with it. I don't know. Oh, maybe it's Alien. All the Alien ones, I think, are going to go together. Yeah that's, what I th yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, so I see how it works. Tomorrow is Aegis. The day after is going to be Alien Day. And then Monday is going to be Crusader and Tumbrel together. And then after that, Origin. After that, Argo, Consolidated Outland, Grey Cat, and Kruger will all be together. Drake is not dead last for a change. Uh, and then it'll be Misk, and then Best in Show, and then Finale, whatever that is. <laughs> yep, right. Okay, I can... I'm going to try spawning it here, just for shits and giggles. It wouldn't let me spawn the Star River. Yeah, it won't let me spawn the cat. It'll let me claim it here and deliver it here, but... They have it locked up in a shed, I guess, around here, and they don't want to share it with me. Why they won't let you... Do it, I don't know... Wind's pretty nasty out there. We can try and make it to your caterpillar, or you're not your caterpillar. You're uh. Yeah, I'm away. Yeah, it does look a little windy out. And it's pretty well blowing directly. Over. Right. Yeah. We right at us. Walking straight into it. Yeah. I do like the fact that the wind picks up during the transitional phases of the planet. We were getting it at noon. We, we got it in the morning, got it at noon, and we got it, we're getting it now at sunset. During, I mean, you'll get it little places here and there, but the big winds look like they show up right around then, which makes sense. It's when your thermal layer is changing because of the position of the sun. Very cool. Looks like Hookins 
Hawkins, the, the double pistol guy. Healing with one hand and taking life with the other. Yeah, I gotta keep him half alive to get the bounty. Punch it, Chewie. Yep, looks like it's not so bad now. The ship's teetering on the ramps. I think it's the wind. But yeah. I'll get the doors. Every time I walk down this, this hallway with all these doors, I keep hearing the Get Smart theme. Tired of the visuals in this game. Heading back down. We're doing do some back. bombs away. Oh, you're dropping a bomb. So we can actually see it hit. Takes a while to go down because it's designed to drag down. Stay accurate. Oh shit, it landed way the fuck back there. You gonna drop another one? Time I'll, I'll keep track. All right, launching now. Oh, it throws it forward a little bit, and then it drops it. All right, 
10 down. I haven't even tried the bomb system yet. It's nothing really to to, t to test it on. Wow. That's cool. It, it lit up the entire mountains, mountain terrain mm -hmm. area. That's cool. The A2 carries, what, four of them? Yep. Yeah. This planet looks cool. I don't know if they've done something different with the atmosphere, but it does look really nice. Person has a lot of cool looking moons. Ready to whoop ass. Got a bogey out there. Oh, that's the space station. Never mind. It's probably just a some poor dude. Big bogey. I don't think we want to take on the space station. No. It'll drop a bomb in space. From what I've heard, it doesn't work. It only blows the ship up. Because it doesn't have anywhere to go. There's no gravity. Okay, not trying that one. Yeah. Yeah, you know what happens when you drop a bomb in space? It becomes a it becomes a mine. <laughs> That's what I was wondering, if I left it out there in space behind us. Yeah. I'd probably run into it on the way out. Yeah. The act of firing it, though, would get you an instant crime stat here. Missiles, yeah, they, they, uh, they nail you quick. Ordnance. Well, we just now entered Armistice Zone, so... Yeah. Well, I've killed my target twice now, and it's still out there. Just... Are you getting paid for it? Yeah, I'm getting paid 500 every time I kill him, so... Bonus. That's 
Groundhog Day for bounty hunters. Yeah. I do like that there's at least some definition when I'm looking in third person for the station now. It used to be just one big black blob that you were flying towards. Yeah. I always hated that. Yeah, for a spaceport with ships coming in and out, it is like the most horribly lit <laughs> area, which should be the complete opposite. Thanks for picking me up, Hogan. No problem. Systems off. I'm afraid to try and run cargo. If if you want to run cargo, I can I'll fly for you. Because getting on and, on and off a ship is kind of scary for me right, right now. Right? Kind of gunshot. Well, we could fly down to the planet. I gotta take off. Yeah. Well. I may still blow the ship up just getting off. We'll see what happens. That's why I didn't load it. Yeah. yeah they still haven't fixed that. Alright, here we go. You want to get off first? You can run away? Okay. All right. Yay! <laughs> right. Somebody probably put that in the game, one of the CIG guys, just so they can get a good screenshot of them walking out of something while it blew up. No doubt. They probably did it for a commercial in game. Mm-hmm. From one of shit commercials and forgot to take it out. Yep. Good douche. I like the bandolier that they added to the uh, the suit. It makes well, much more. Yeah. It makes more more sense. The right. Grenade, holding the grenades. Yeah, walk out of the ship as it explodes behind you. EA Sports. <laughs> it's in the game. <laughs> Wrong button, darn it. Yeah, I'm carrying way too much stuff. But I do no. like to I do like to loot, so I like to have lots of cargo space. Hey, 
That suit would be perfect on the selling yellow. Mm-hmm. You blend in really well there. Claim some ships here. Well, there's really no point in me doing any cargo. So there's no point in me even claiming, no point in claiming the caterpillar because fucking, if my ships are gonna have the chance to blow up instantly the minute I walk on and off of them, I can't really run cargo that way. Hell, I can't yeah. run, I can't do mining, I can't do anything. I can do mining because all I'm investing is time. But no amount of crash recovery is going to protect me from my stuff just blowing up. Is that a multi-tool attachment? Yeah, but I can't pick it up. It's a tractor beam attachment. Inspect. Oh, I can pick it up. Oh, no, nope, my guy's freaking out. Yep, that's what my guy did. There's a bunch of them next uh, behind you, too. Mm, I don't no, see that. Right here. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, I can't pick him up. My guy does, like, a reach, but nothing happens. That is a scene of somebody going, fuck this shit. Yeah. Well, somebody was probably trying to attach something and didn't realize they were just dumping stuff onto the floor. Or the suit bug that was in the PTU where you attach stuff and it just falls off of your character mm -hmm. is a thing in the P in the PU. I, I was wearing the Bellfire outfit and I would attach the... Uh, the pyro tool right where your med gun is and it would stay and then a, f a minute or so later it would just fall off my leg and land on the floor yeah i'd just it's keep equipping still it still thing i'm surprised mine's still on my leg yeah so there's some goofiness going on with with that i'm waiting for the time you can run up to some guy and pull the pin on his grenade and run off <laughs> That would suck. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, where? Which one is it? Which one is it? <laughs> That's messed well, up. It wouldn't work on me because I never carry grenades. I haven't carried grenades since when we started th to throw yeah. them and they fell at our feet and killed us. Yes. I just quit wearing them <laughs> since. The, the problem yep. is that if they're going to make it so we can rob and loot and hurt people like that, how they they got to set up the crime system for it. They can't just put that stuff into the game and not have any consequence. Kind of like the whole med gun thing. There was no consequence to anything that that did. They were murdering people in the armistice zone and nobody could defend themselves and there was no consequence. They can't do that they got to they they have to bring it back to game level i mean there's got to be a, a certain area of unmutable bullshit where you cannot you know dick with people and stuff that's on your person until you're dead they should not be able to touch any of it yeah it's like pry my gun from my cold dead fingers you know well because i could walk up right now Pull the grenade pin on your thing, walk away, and you'll kill everybody in the room, and you'll get the crime stat for it. Because there's no, there's no, there's no law system for that aspect. Yeah. Plus, it's an easy kill. I can just walk up and do that. The time it takes you to find it, there's no way you're gonna find it before you, you you're dead. It's it's a cheap move. And it's it's bullshit, and they should not allow stuff like that. Well, that's why we're still in, you know, Alpha. Yeah. So I'm hoping, I'm begging that they fucking come to their senses and, and bring some of this stuff back to game level. Because if, if they allow too much of that bullshittery, people will, st will 
I mean, a new player that has that happen to them, they'll just quit. They're, they haven't invested much in the game, and they'll just give up. So. Even some of the long-time players would probably get a little fed up with that. <laughs> 